5D Embroidery Extra. If I move up to the full system, what else do I get? Well, the good thing is, is everything that you've seen so far, you get in the full system. So oh. you don't lose anything, which is wonderful. That is wonderful. And it, you can do a lot there, but you can even do more in the full system. And one of the great uh, modules is called 5D Design Creator. Okay. And that's where you can make your own design, do anything you want. And it also has some new wonderful texture pieces like Richelieu bars and crosshatch fill, wow. all sorts of neat things. Yes. So let's go ahead and just quick link over into that design creator. Okay. And I'm going to choose new. And we're going to start a new design with no picture. I'm going to actually create a picture in the back. Okay. Now, one of the things that a lot of people have been asking for, I know you haven't because you have a 4D embroidery. Correct. But what they've been asking for is working with vector images. So that's actually a, a type of uh, design file or a type of background image that has really clean lines. Okay. And so it's a really neat way to, uh, to work and I'm just going to choose one of these little designs. Then go over into the create area. Now, Sunny, my neighbor has the full 4D system. Okay. And I've seen this before on her computer, and it doesn't look like this. No. This is different. I don't remember a hoop and these icons over here. That's right. There are a lot of new icons, but the hoop is a great new thing because it's actually making the proper size for the hoop that you're going to stitch out in. Oh, so wow. okay. there's no guesswork. Yes, you know, that's great. You, you have it just right there on the screen, kind of like we did your blouse. Everything is proper size for whatever you're making. So it is really neat. And we're going to also come in and over here in this continuous column area, there are your Richelieu bars. Now, one of the fun things about the Richelieu bars is when I start here, I'm just gonna go ahead and start right at the corner of this leaf. And you see the little lines going across? Yes. Now those aren't actually the bars. Those are just giving the angle that the bars are gonna be Simply right click and automatic version. That's incredible. It is. It's amazing. And then when I want to, I can adjust this slightly if I want to change oh, the Oh, and they level. fit to your line. They do. So make it exactly the way you want it right on screen. That's great. Yeah, it is. It's really easy. Now, another little piece when you're doing textures is I'm working with a crosshatch fill. Now, crosshatch fill is something different because, let's go ahead and come in here, choose crosshatch fill, okay, and then quickly run around this outside. Now, if I hold the control key, I make a little pointed area, oh cool, which is again, it is really fun and fast and easy. Right click, there's, there's my crosshatch, now it's pretty big. It is pretty big. Yeah. It's easy to change because I'm just going to come in here. Wait, you're changing here. I am. She had to go somewhere else to change. She did. She had to go to the Edit tab. Everything now I can do right on the Create tab. And again, check out this gap. See how I'm making the crosshatch fill a lot smaller. And then down here, different angles. And you have different angles. You can do diamond shapes. You can do. You can enter your own angles. Oh, you wonderful. can do parallel lines. It's one. It is really wonderful. This is cut work. You not only have a straight stitch, but also a zigzag stitch over the top. And cut work is where you cut the fabric away, right? That's so right. there's no fabric there. Exactly. So that would be state. That would be more stable because of that zigzag. Stitch. It holds it together. It makes it stronger, so you don't lose basically the cross hatching. Okay. When you wash away, usually you do that on like a aqua magic or a water soluble stabilizer. Okay. And so that makes it really easy. So let's apply. There it is. Wow. Cross -hatch. Much better. It's it much better. Yeah, it is. It's really neat. Now, last but not least, there are lots of other fill patterns that, again, are going to give you texture. Go ahead and move up to here. And there's this great thing that's called radial fill. Now, what the radial fill allows me to do is it allows me to kind of say, where are my stitches going to come from? So, is it going to come from the center of the leaf? Is it going to come from the side of the leaf? And I know that 
may sound kind of strange, let me show you what it means. Oh, okay. <laughs> See, here's the little, uh, the center. Let's move it down here. And look what wow, happened. Wow, it totally changes the way that it looks. Exactly. And the other neat thing is you can see it doing right here. Yes. Whereas your friends, she had to go up and create stitches and do different things. This is automatically done right on the screen. So it's all changing in real, real time. It is. It is exactly changing in real time. So in the 5D Design Creator, you have the visual parts. You have the, um, the cross-hitch fill. All the other specialty fills and being able to see it right on the screen. Now my neighbor, is she going to be losing anything that she had with her 4D design creator? If she decide, decides to upgrade, she actually, she won't lose anything and she actually keeps her 4D. Oh. However, with the 5D, she doesn't lose anything either. So, so everything she had in yeah. her 4D, she'll have in her 5D design exactly. creator. Just these new wonderful features. New wonderful features and seeing it right away as you're actually doing 